Hey everybody, this is Marie of Humble Bee and Me, and today we're going to be looking at how to use a scale. So, I've got this little scale here. I got it on Amazon. It's quite inexpensive. It weighs down to 0.1 of a gram, which is a level of precision that's really nice when you're making body products, but not necessary for things like baking. And it goes up to two kilos, which is a nice top range for most of the things that we'll be working with. So to start with, you'll need a vessel to weigh, in this case, our beeswax into. So I've bought some of these in the past, and so these are cute little sort of silicone weigh boats. They're light and they're flexible. I find I don't actually like them that much though because they are so light that they tend to float when you use them in a water bath, especially if you don't have much in there. And if you're using a fine powder, because the inside of these cups has just a little bit of texture to it, the fine powder tends to stick in there and so you lose some of it. So I tend to use little glass measuring cups or prep cups, which uh, are really inexpensive at kitchen stores and easily available. So the first thing we're gonna do here, turn our scale on. It'll register at zero and in grams. You can cycle through using the mode button to choose ounces or pounds or kilos if you wanted to, but I'm a big fan of grams, so I'm gonna leave it there. So we'll start by popping that on there. And the first thing we'll see, of course, is that it registers the weight of our sort of weigh boat. But we don't really care about the weight of this bowl, so we're gonna hit the tear button to reset it to zero. So now we can start weighing out our ingredients. So I'm gonna aim for 10 grams of beeswax. And as you can see, you know, this beeswax is some that I hacked off of a larger block of beeswax with a knife. And so we've got lots of different sizes of pieces here. And so it would be really hard to accurately measure this beeswax out by volume. So that would be with a tablespoon or a teaspoon or something. So we're gonna shoot for 10 grams here. All right, so there you have your 10 grams of beeswax. If you're gonna add another ingredient, what you do is sort of hit the tear button again, reset it to zero and add something else. Now, if you're new to weighing things out or if you uh, are really playing by the rules, you really should use a new weigh boat for every ingredient and then combine them. I, on the other hand, like to play fast and loose and generally measure everything into the same container and just be really careful which is where these little guys come in really handy. So these are just disposable plastic pipettes. You can get them for just a couple cents a piece. Uh, and I'll use these to measure out my liquids because then I can add them a drop at a time and it's much easier to uh, ignore the fact that you should be using different bowls for each, each ingredient. So I tend to label them here with a felt pen so that I know what each one is for. And then I'll use an elastic band and just attach this to the side of a bottle of oil so that it always sort of lives with the oil that it's used for measuring and then just add drop by drop by drop until I get the amount of liquid oil that I want or liquid anything. All right, that's basically the gist of how to weigh things out. Now you're ready to dive into all of your DIY projects. Thanks for watching.